Hi, my name is Sean Goonan and I'm running for City Council at Large. I'm a lifelong resident of Chicopee and I currently work as the Assistant Manager of Bardwell Farm in Hatfield. I will be an unbiased leader on the City Council, representing residents across the city. I will not shy away from controversial city issues and I'll tell the truth and be straightforward on matters. I will represent neighborhood interests first and foremost because it should be the duty of council members to protect the quality of life of people in their homes. Numerous large-scale projects come before the council each year that threaten to drastically change the makeup of various neighborhoods and if not for residents in large numbers speaking out, many more of these projects would have been rubber stamped through. Through significant and necessary zoning reform, I hope to bolster neighborhood centers with mixed use business and residential properties and protect stri strictly residential areas from disruptive outside forces. My top priority ever since I ran for city council in 2019 and in 2021 has been pedestrian safety. And it has deeply saddened me to see the unnecessary loss of life in ve vehicle and pedestrian accidents that have occurred in Chicopee. These accidents may have been prevented if the roads in the city were not designed for vehicular speed at the expense of pedestrian and motorist safety. The roads in the city are excessively wide, featuring unnecessary shoulders, which creates an environment in which people feel comfortable traveling at higher speeds. With people trying to walk along and across the road, this leads to disaster. Pedestrian safety has been an afterthought in the city for too long. A long-term plan is needed to address these negligent design flaws which is something that the current council and administration is not pursuing. One simple ordinance I could immediately create is to require all crosswalks to feature double-sided crosswalk signs on each side of the road and curb bump outs at every crosswalk to shorten the distance a person needs to get across and better alert motorists of pedestrians. I want to improve our parks and also designate more areas in the city for passive recreational green space with trees, paths, and benches and I support planting more trees along streets to improve the tree canopy as well. A simple ordinance I will propose is to, to require the tree warden to replace any tree on city property that is cut down with a new tree within one year. I aim to keep a very close eye on city spending. I will balance the salary needs of city workers with the monetary needs of Chicopee residents, with the city payroll being one of the biggest aspects of the budget. I will also scrutinize capital expenses and upgrades while recognizing that some upgrades may be worth it for people. One way to obtain more tax revenue without increasing people's taxes is to pursue payments in lieu of taxes from large nonprofits that operate in the city and use city services but don't pay property taxes. For example, the not-for-profit Mental Health Association recently spent $5.75 million on a commercial property on Memorial Drive and the city may seek voluntary payments from them. We need more government transparency. We also need more civic engagement, and I hope to increase these things as a counselor. For example, the city website needs updating, and city projects need more citizen input. Uh, please contact me with your concerns for representation, and I hope to receive your vote on Election Day, November 7th. Thank you.